Hey guys, so got another video for you defending Riverlands Castle. So, got my Falcos, you've seen me set them up right at the beginning there. And I'm just having them face the tower and take it down. Unfortunately, taking out the tower on the other side is a bit of a pain in the ass with Falcos. Just because of the way you have to angle them, you usually have to bring them up on the stairs or you have to angle them far from the back and it's just not as effective. You're better off just placing a couple of blue coal varins and taking the tower out that way. But as you can see, I got the cannon just shooting through the little crevice there, hitting the tower, have my Falcos taking it out. And once this is over, you'll see the enemy team try pushing Bravo Point, and I'll show you how I handle that. So I'll just let the video play and enjoy. So now that it's destroyed, you've seen me send my Falcos back to the supply point. I believe this is the video they went full derp. Sometimes when you tell Falcos while they're planted to go back to a supply point, they'll sometimes just pretend you don't exist as their commander-in-chief. And they'll sometimes decide, oh, I'm not going to run back, fuck you. So, sometimes you gotta go micro them back. see me attempt to do something a little ballsy here. Now, I don't necessarily recommend this unless you have a team prepared to protect your Falcos, because it's very easy for them to get dove and killed. So, I'm going to plant them here, and they're trying to push to be... Now, I originally thought they were going to try and push into us, but I get a few kills here. Lots of numbers. Very fun. I noticed they were starting to push around, so I'm getting my Falcos the hell out of there, keeping an eye on the situation. And I see them pushing B point, so this is what I'm going to run over. I'm going to drop my Falcos on the supply point, and you can actually aim them up into Bravo point. They can actually hit from supply all the way over there. It's wonderful. Uh, yeah, they went full derp here. A little frustrating when it happens, but frankly it happens to a lot of units. It's just annoying when it's ranged units. And I'm going to run up there to get a better view. Helps with the aiming. Otherwise you can just aim at the top of the wall and they'll kind of reach, but not the greatest. So it's always best to run up here and actually get an overhead view to see what you're aiming at. See them getting ready to push, see how the arrow's red. I could technically aim right on the point. Yeah, like I'm about to do. Yeah. And see how it scatters a bit more than usual. That's because I went into the red. 
It's not too much, usually it's about the same, but the extra scatter sometimes helps. You'll see me put it in the blue just so I get that tiny bit of accuracy, but you'll notice the scatter is pretty much the same. Falcos in general are pretty accurate. I have 25% accuracy on them. Without that, it's kind of bad, but not really. I don't know. I've debated taking off the accuracy, but I don't know what doctrine would be better than it. Because, honestly, 25% accuracy is even better than the purple 100% blunt damage, so... Decisions, decisions. Gotta love the sifts. Fire is good. Then you'll start seeing numbers here. Yeah, unfortunately we got pushed back and now we're getting ready to defend home point. I'm going to show you my favorite spot here. So when defending home, most teams will try pushing from that tab left supply up that staircase. And what you can do is ruin their fucking day. You can make it a nightmare to even get up that staircase. And you just place your Falcos here up on this elevated area and just carefully aim right at the top of the stairs. And your Falcos shoot all the way across the staircase, all the way to the bottom. You'll see the numbers here. I'm talking to my teammates and they're telling me if they're pushing or not. And then I just start shooting. You see the numbers. It's wonderful. I get a lot of satisfaction out of Falcos. They're a wonderful unit. Easily my favorite. A lot of times you'll run into teams that are smart and they'll expect something like that and once it starts they'll swap and start running to the other staircase. That's when you gotta rotate your team as quick as possible because your Falcos can easily stop them from being able to push up. Like you'll see my kills racking up there. I mean this is low. When they do a hard push like that I'll sometimes come out with like a hundred fifty, two hundred kills from this map. It's nice. As you command. I notice them starting to push, so I'm getting my Falcos out of there. You'll see on the map, one guy will poke his head up there. So, it's always good to get your Falcos out of there, hopefully before they see where your Falcos ran off to. Because some people will dive clear to the back and suicide. Like, I got an army of 40s here that would have murdered somebody if they ran back here, but sometimes you just have nothing back here. Everybody's out on the field. So, quick way to get your Falcos killed. Not much you can do to stop it either. Not many classes can stop another class from killing them unless you can kill the enemy class instantly. So, pull axe. That's it. Yeah, it's just a little too dangerous for my Falcos there, and they're on home point. So I'm going to bring them up on this ledge over here once I fill them up on ammo. Yeah, see this asshole? He didn't see where my Falcos wound up going. Scared him off. Match is almost over, so... I'm gonna bring them out, bring them up on this ledge. 
Somebody's already got Falcos there, so I'm not going to bother bringing them to the staircase. But you can bring them up here, and you got to watch out. Here they can get trebbed very easily, but the match is almost over, so frankly, even if they did get trebbed, I wouldn't have cared. But you'll see me just rain hell on the point. All the numbers. It's wonderful. Well, that's game. Victory. And I'll show you the kill screen at the end. My Falcos got quite a few kills by themselves. I mean, they're pretty much all I used this entire game, as you've seen. I think in the middle of the cuts, I think I pulled out uh, Iron Reapers. I can't remember what else I brought here, honestly. I believe it was Iron Reapers. Yeah, I moved my Falcos there for a moment because I thought they were about to get trebbed. Nice victory to add to my record. I was just about to leave, but I figured I'd show off my Falco kills, whole 77.